for a good chunk of the Call of Duty community, we are getting our first taste of Modern Warfare 3 via the PlayStation Early Access and Open Betas. What are your expectations and anticipations for the beta weekends? Do you think they are using the beta to continue marketing the game or do you think they will take into consideration community feedback? Let's chop it up in the comment section. If this is your first time here, welcome and if you are returning, welcome back. In this video, we are talking about some tips and tricks to be able to dominate the beta weekends and a few things to consider throughout the next few weekends. After the first beta weekend, I will make an updated video after getting some experience with Modern Warfare 3. So flirt with the idea of subscribing if you don't want to miss it. Pause. Let's go ahead and get started. So first, you're going to want to familiarize yourself. Spend some time getting to know the game mechanics, controls, and maps. We all want to be able to dominate lobbies off rip, but take your time and things will fall into place. Yes, a lot of us have played these maps before, but these are remasters. So there will be a few surprises in the new map designs. This will help you understand the gameplay and make better decisions during matches, even if you spend the first couple of times on a map looking for choke points and head glitches. When you're actually ready to compete, it might save you some frustration. Next, experiment with different loadouts. Try out different weapons, attachments, perks, kill streaks, whatever the case. Find a combination that suits your playstyle. Experimenting will help you discover what is best for you. Too many times players end up copying, pasting their entire loadout from a YouTuber or certain influencers. If you need a bit of influence, it is a good thing to take a peek at what your favorite players or creators are using, or even your friends. But try not to fall into the trap of copy and pasting loadouts. Also, communicate and coordinate with your team. This one is obvious. Communication is key in team-based game modes, even when you're running with randoms. Use voice chat, text chat, and maybe even the ping system if it is available in Modern Warfare 3 to coordinate strategies and just communicate with your team. Call out enemy positions and work together with the squad. Also, learn from your mistakes. Don't get discouraged by losses or deaths. Instead, use them as learning opportunities. Something I like to say is when it comes to taking an L, as people like to say, is to take it as a lesson, not a loss. Analyze what went wrong and try to improve in the next match. One thing I find huge is recording your gameplay. And this can possibly work long term for a lot of players when Modern Warfare 3 actually releases. Recording your gameplay and watching the film back will absolutely make you so much more aware of your playstyle than you may think. For example, in the moment, you may not be entirely aware of why you lost a certain gunfight. But when you go back and watch the film, you may notice something as small as your centering being off. Or maybe you misjudged a recoil pattern. So I highly recommend recording your gameplay and watching it back. It will absolutely make a huge difference. Once again, not only in the beta, but also long term with Modern Warfare 3. And play strategically. Sledgehammer rewards strategic play versus Infinity Ward seems to reward stagnant play styles. Use cover effectively, but do not camp. You may be able to get three or four kills, but you will get figured out sooner than you think if you are sitting in one spot. And do not be afraid to flank your opponents. But while flanking, be aware of your surroundings. Playing smart can give you a more significant edge over your opponents rather than just ego challenging and playing super aggressive. That is a tip that I need to practice myself. And next, this one is also pretty obvious, but squad up. Everyone knows when the beta dates are. Have your friends clear their calendars and let them know we are playing the Modern Warfare 3 beta this weekend. You can celebrate your cat's birthday on Monday. Okay, but seriously, Needless to say, with how competitive Call of Duty is today, it's best to have a few friends to be able to run with, to be able to play for trades, and even just let you know what's going on around the map, where you might not necessarily see what's going on. I can go on forever as to why you should squad up, but at the same time, playing with the squad makes the experience five to 10 times better, no matter the case. Next, have either you or a teammate take advantage of power positions. This one is kind of obvious as well, but power positions are important to Call of Duty because they give you a strategic advantage over your opponents to a certain degree. They provide a little bit better visibility, cover, and it also helps with map control. That is a huge one. Map control is huge to be able to take care of key areas on the map. And also having high ground is also another reason why you should take advantage of power positions. But once again, taking it back a few steps, you do not want to camp. You will absolutely get figured out way sooner than you may think. Also, don't assume the beta will be the game. If Sledgehammer took a page out of Ubisoft's book, they should listen to community feedback and a lot of things can change when the game launches. Because so far from what we know, 
it seems like everything we wanted in Call of Duty is now back or maybe even added into the game for the first time. So hopefully if the community voices a concern and hopefully they don't do things backwards like they did in the Modern Warfare 2 beta and release. The cast off 7.62 and the F-Tech Recon were weapons that absolutely dominated the beta, but when Modern Warfare 2 released, it was a completely different ball game in terms of what weapons people were using to dominate lobbies. Another thing you are gonna wanna do is make sure you have a good audio source such as Waves Customs, use Waves Custom in his for the gym, playing and recording music, and of course, gaming. Get Waves fitted customly for your ears only just by scanning your ears with your smartphone, available on both iPhone and Android. They offer a damn good product for a one of a kind experience, and Waves also kills it as far as aesthetics. You can get these in pretty much any color. And you can also get any logo printed on them. Maybe you wanna rep your favorite esports team, or maybe you want to rep your favorite e-girl. Whatever the case, Waves kills it as far as aesthetics and absolutely audio. Check these guys out. It'll be the first thing down in the description. If you are excited for the Modern Warfare 3 beta weekend, drop a like on the video. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for sticking around. And if you dug the content, consider subscribing for more Call of Duty content, more first-person shooter content, actually, such as X Defiant, Call of Duty, and more. You can expect two videos weekly from my channel. But as we anticipate Modern Warfare 3, I may increase the frequency. Thank you guys once again. All y'all take care, and I'm out.